So let's look how to model this problem. Five take away negative three, thinking about chips. So let's just get the board set up. So right now this, is says, this problem says, I have five. I have five positives. So let me just draw those really quick. Okay, so there's five positives. And I have to take away negative three. The problem is, I don't have negative three chips there. So I have to get those on without changing the value. The board needs to still stay equal to 5 overall. So the trick here is 0 pairs. So I've gone ahead and put on 0 pairs. Notice there are 3 0 pairs here. That gives me 3 negative chips to deal with. Alright, so now let's look back at the problem again. The problem says you have 5 you're taking off negative 3. Notice right now that the entire board, the value of this entire board right now is 5. That's critical. It says you have 5, you're taking away 3 negative chips. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's take away the 3 negative chips. Here are my 3 negative chips. I'm taking those away. They're gone. What's left? What's the value of my board now? And you can see the value of my board now is 8. Hence, the answer to 5 take away negative 3 is 8. I'm going to run through this really quick again. You have to have your board that starts off with a value of 5. Then you have to take away 3 negative chips. The problem was we didn't have 3 negative chips. Hence, we had to put on the 0 pairs. Once we had the 0 pairs put on, then we had negative 3 chips to take away. We did it. We ended up with an answer of 8.